Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's look, I'm doing a cut crease makeup tutorial and I'm going to be using the Morphe 350 palette. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go in depth on how to make a cut crease. I'm not the best at it. I've only done it probably a couple of times. This would be like my third time. If you have any other ideas on videos for how to do your eyeshadow, how to blend, just anything, just let me know down in the comment section below. Um, also, all the products that I used will be put in the description box. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is go into the Morphe 35O palette. And I'm going to take this light brown shade and I'm going to put that in my crease with this big fluffy brush. And the reason we're just kind of going sloppy with it is because it's really not going to matter because I will be taking concealer and making the crease, the cut crease. So you just make sure that it's all blended seamlessly and you just do the same thing on the other eye. Now we're going to go into this red shade and we're also going to be adding that in the crease and I'm taking a smaller blending brush and putting that in there and just kind of blending it in, blending it in with the transition shade that I used, the light brown. I'm just going to make sure that it all blends together. And right now I'm just putting colors in the crease. I'm just doing that on the other eye. For the next shade, we're taking that brick red color. It's like a brownish red color. And I'm taking a more precise blending brush and also adding that to the crease. And that's just going to darken up the crease just a little bit more. Basically what I'm doing is just darkening up the crease little by little with starting with the lighter colors and then going in with the darker colors. Now I'm taking this, I don't know what it's called exactly, it's just a precise brush. It'll, it'll all be in the description box below, I'll put everything that I used on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, dark brown shade in the palette and I'm going to take that color and just put it precisely in the crease without going on the eyelid because this is going to be the dark shade that defines the cut of the crease. And I'm just going to pack that color on there. Also, you don't have to use the 350 palette. You can achieve this look with any other palettes. If you guys want to see a more affordable way of doing it, like from the drugstore, just let me know. Now I'm taking my fluffy brush again that I used to put the red in my crease and I'm just taking it and blending out the black, I mean blending out the brown color to where it's not such a harsh line. Just kind of blending it in with the rest of the shades in the crease. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX eyeshadow base and take in this really small, precise, I think, I'm pretty sure it's called a small concealer brush. And that's pretty much what I'm going to use to 
carve out my lid and it's going to make that nice cut crease and you just got to make sure that you go with the shape of your lid and try not to go above onto the crease and that's pretty much what I'm doing right here and I'm just going to fill the rest of it in with that concealer or eyeshadow base. You can use a concealer to, to do this, but I just used the eyeshadow base because it was a thicker consistency, so it was easier for me to control. And I'm just doing that on the other side. Now that I've got the lids done, I'm going to go ahead and carve out the shape of a wing because I will be doing wing liner. And this part didn't come out very well. I tried my best, but you know. And you're just kind of going to take the shape upward like you would your your winged liner and now I'm just taking that dark brown shade again and kind of defining it a little more now that I've got the eyeshadow base on I'm sorry I kept sticking my mirror in the way I was struggling a little bit doing this <laughs> now I'm just taking that blending brush and just kind of blending it out a little bit now I'm going in with this really light colored shimmer. I don't know what it would be like. I guess like a champagne color. And I'm taking my Milani Make It Last setting spray and spraying my brush. That way it makes the eyeshadow pop more and it also helps to stick the eyeshadow on there really good. And you're just going to make sure that you do it right where you put your concealer or eyeshadow base and not go above that. The eyeshadow actually helped a little bit to make the lines a little more um, precise. Now I'm going in with some gel eyeliner. This was my first time doing it, so most of this is going to get cut out because I was actually out of frame. But yeah, I just used a gel eyeliner. Gel eyeliner. Um, I just wanted to try it because I had never used it before. Um, but you can go ahead and use whatever kind of eyeliner you prefer. I usually use a liquid eyeliner. So I went ahead and finished the rest of my face and put on some lashes and now I just took that brick red color and I'm putting that on my lower lash line with a pencil brush. Now I'm just putting on some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm putting on this Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick in Give Me Mocha. And that's pretty much it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!